Okay, we are live. This is Candace Chira from marketingwithcandace.com. And I welcome everyone uh, to the next edition in our 12 part series Make Cash for the Holiday Giveaway and Training Event. If you're not registered and you would like to receive your gifts, um, there is a link where you're watching this video at, and you are more than welcome to sign up. And today with us, uh, we have Aurora Jones. Aurora and I have become good friends over the past year. Uh, she runs a very successful um, group on Facebook, uh, her along with Lydia Brown, who was on the show earlier this week. Well, actually now it's last week, but she was on last week. And um, they are both really just great, great girls, and I've learned a lot from them. And so it was a no-brainer when I was putting this um, event together that I would ask Lydia and Aurora both uh, to come on. And today, Aurora is going to share with us how to attract highly targeted leads with YouTube marketing. She's really got this down to a science. And Aurora, uh, you can go, you can take it away, and, and tell us what you know. Okay, all right. Hi everybody, I guess it's the evening where you are. I'm actually in the UK, so right now it is 2 a.m. Woohoo! <laughs> so let me get started and thank you very much for this introduction. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate Condace and it's been a pleasure working with you over the past um, few months. I think it's probably been a year right now. Right, so, yeah, it has been. Yeah. So um, the journey has been absolutely exciting, and uh, I'm very, very happy that you you put this event um, on Google. I mean, you did this Google Hangout. So thank you again for inviting me. Oh, you are so welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get to know a bit more about myself. So um, about me. So my name is Aurora Jones, and you can hear on this picture my handsome husband Mark and our wonderful baby boy called Jesse. Uh, we were playing in a shopping center. <laughs> it was great fun. So um, I live in the UK in Bristol but I was born and raised in Paris and my parents are from Cameroon. So if you hear my accent it's because I'm French. I've got a French accent and <laughs> I can't get rid of it. <laughs> That's okay. It's cute. <laughs> so um, I live in Bristol, my parents are from Cameroon, and uh, I was born in Paris. Then in terms of what I've been able to achieve since I've been online, uh, so this is what is possible when you venture online. Um, so my main marketing strategies are video marketing and Facebook, and because of these strategies I've been able to win contests, like the No Excuses Summit, the top 50 MLM blogs in 2012, uh, came number nine for the Traffic Playbook. Out of so many people who competed to get these um, these products, I think they are worth probably one or two thousand dollars. And uh, I'm featured on a regular basis on the MLSP leaderboard, which is the number one lead generation system on the planet. And uh, just recently, I've been featured in Jessica Higdon um, course. She's got a new course on Facebook, and uh, I was one of her students. And um, I was um, one of her guests, so it was a very exciting time. So these are a few pictures right here. So on the leaderboard of MLSP, a wonderful testimonial from top leaders in MLSP the top 50 MLM blogs, and then the referral contest where I came second only by one point. And just right here was the webinar organized by the six-figure earner Jessica Higdon. Beautiful lady. So I won um, a ticket to go to the No Excuses Summit, and when you start having success, you can start making some sales. So here are some sales that I made. Um, I think it was from this event or something else, I can't remember. And I'm also part of the Mastermind Fever team on Facebook. As Candace said, you know, we've got a thriving group on Facebook where we help people across the globe 
who are familiar with online marketing or not to grow their business faster by finding a mastermind partner. And this has been absolutely um, essential for my growth um, by being online. Having a, having a mastermind partner has been a great experience. My baby is waking up. So let's get started because even if it sounds all great and wonderful right now, but actually I was really, really struggling a lot. And uh, I failed doing offline marketing for years. And until I ventured online, I mean, I was really suffering. I was pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how I could get people to see my um, network marketing presentation. And uh, until I found, you know, MLSP, which is like a, a proven educational marketing system, uh, then I simply stopped having to chase my friends and family members because, as you know, if you don't have any leads, you don't have a business, so you are not making any money. And it's very stressful if you've got plans in your life to change your life and everything is on standby because, uh, you know, you, you want the success in MLM but you have no idea on how to make it happen. You know, nothing seems to be working. You do house parties, and you do product fairs, and you hand out cards, you go in shopping malls, shop shopping centers, handing out cards, and nobody cares. That is awful. So, if you are looking to get highly targeted leads using a proven online um, formula, and using YouTube in particular, this presentation is really going to help you because that helped me to get targeted leads to join my business. So now let me explain with you why people fail in their home-based business. They fail in their home-based business because they don't have any leads, they don't have any money, and they are targeting the wrong people. So now, is MLM working? Is network marketing working? Can really people make money from it? Absolutely, they can. Can people have success doing offline marketing, like talking to friends and family members and doing house parties? Absolutely. But the thing is that it is not for everybody. Many people fail, or I would say they quit before they see any success, when actually there are so many ways where you can um, make your business a success by using, by knowing the skills required to be successful with your home based business. So, one thing that you need to understand, and this is what I learned through all this training that I did online, is people don't care about your business. That's the first thing you need to understand. People care about themselves, and they care about you being able to help them. Because people do not join a business, they join people they know, they like, and they trust. I remember the other day, I spoke to a friend of mine who said to me, oh yeah, well, you know what, I wasn't really interested in that business, but the leader was so good that I had to join him. And I thought, mm -hmm. absolutely, people join people they know, they like, and they trust. Because they believe that if you are the right leader, they are going to have success as well. The second thing that you need is to start attracting people to you instead of chasing your friends and family members who are probably broke and have no idea that it is possible to make money uh, with a network marketing company, but it is definitely possible to make money by not having a normal job, having a normal 9 to 5 job. So. What is interesting when you start attracting people is that there is no convincing required about you know, network marketing, MLM being a scam or pyramid scheme. There is none of that because you found the right people. And the third thing, which is huge and it took me ages to understand, as I said to you, people don't care about your business and what they want to found is a leader who is going to help them. So you have to become the leader that people are looking for and you need to brand yourself, not your company. So you could be in the best fruit juice company in the world, in the best 
you know, selling pills, opening the world, you have to brand yourself. Because again, God forbid, but if your business work you go down, if your MLM work you go down, if you are not a leader that people are looking for, if you are not building a list, you would have lost everything and you will need to start all over again from scratch. So you need to build yourself, you need to brand yourself, and you must become a leader. Brand yourself, not your company. And the last point is that in order to become you know, a leader, it's not just, I'm a leader. No, it is really about bringing value. You need to add value, you need to stand out from the crowd and become a problem solver. Well, you know what, there are quite a few spelling mistakes right there. What's that? <laughs> there are quite a few spelling mistakes, it's quite funny. So, you need to stand out from the crowd. Let me remove that, I really don't like it. <laughs> so, you need to stand out from the crowd and uh, become a problem solver, not a spammer. You need to bring so much value that people feel compelled to get in contact with you, to connect with you by phone or by email or by Skype. You want people to reach out to you. And that's why you need to have this value, this special thing that they need and they, they know that if they join you, they are going to have this added value which is going to benefit them and their business. And don't be a spammer or don't just simply just bother your friends and family members. Basically, you don't want to see that. You don't want, you know, people to say, no, please stay away from me. Like your friends and family members are trying their best to avoid you because you constantly <laughs> talk about your business. You do the free food rule and you do everybody who breathes around you. You will simply stop them and say, oh, have you heard about? And they are not listening. And you don't want to do this either when you are online. I had a guy the other day, I didn't speak to him for about six months and um, when we started engaging that process and that conversation online, he was just sending me like long messages and after six months again that was another long message of how his company was so great, so amazing, so blah blah blah. And I thought, you are not bringing any value. It was just copy and paste from what you know his company gave him for me yeah. to, I'm not going to read that, I'm not going to check the links, and I'm not going to join him. What is he going to bring to me or to my business by me joining him? Absolutely nothing. So you don't want to bother your friends and family members, but you don't want to bother people as well online, especially if you don't know how to do it properly. What you need is a powerful concept which is called attraction marketing. Attraction marketing was a concept which was developed by Mike Dillard and he started to create a system which could help his own downline in his business because he was very frustrated of not having any success and he decided to find another way to be successful with his business and because it worked, now he was able to share this information with his team. If you haven't read um, Magnetic Sponsoring by Mark Dillard, which is all about attraction marketing, how to attract people to you instead of you having to chase people in shopping malls or shopping center where you need to read this ebook. It is absolutely phenomenal. It is. I read that book. Oh yeah, absolutely great. And the funny thing, Candace, is that I remember when I received his emails, you know you spend so much time online, you opt into so many things, and I can't even remember how it happened, but I came across his resources. And then every day I was receiving these weird messages about how you know you can attract people online, they would come with their credit cards in hand, looking for you, begging to join you. I was like, you know, mate, I don't have the time for that. This is such a lie. I'm not interested. I don't want to know about it. Well, that took me <laughs> quite some time. A lot of struggling, struggles and pain and 
uh, just anger to come back to his resource and now I'm actually using attraction marketing every single day. Everything that he's teaching in his ebook is what I'm using every single day to have success in my business. So it's not because you haven't heard about something but it means that it is rubbish. You need to allow yourself to open up your mind, to become a leader, being open to new ideas, to grow as a leader and to help your team as well. And this book will transform the way you're looking at your business. Because yep. basically there are two ways to promote your business. You've got the old school, which is friends and family members, what we call the warm list, free food pool, networking, prospecting strangers, buying leads, calling leads, and this I've tried, it does not work. For me it didn't work at all. But what worked is what we call the new school, you know, from you know, uh, attraction marketing, you know, magnetic sponsoring, where you attract people to you because you know you you um you know when you are offline you would get the information from people like you know you will get their phone numbers, you will put them on a piece of paper or on your phone. When online you can't really do that. But what you can do to take people's information in exchange of some value of a free training for instance on how to market using video marketing uh, well, you will use a capture page. On that page, you will attract their name, their email, and their phone number. And it's only about using internet marketing strategies, using Web 2.0 platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Pinterest, all of that. And everything is automated. Everything is done by email and. You know, we like to make this comparison old school, new school, but the reality is that you can mix both together because once you've done everything online, you go offline to talk to those people and to follow up with them. Exactly. So this is, this is what it looks like. Your goal, as we said before, is to build your ink and you need to build a list because if your business were to go down, you don't have anybody to contact, or you don't have any um, power of influence over people, you need to start all over again. Like this is uh, somebody who is in MLSP, and I found this picture online, but um, it's got 5,000 leads, let's say, and you've got names, you've got emails, and this is a large list now of people who are like-minded and of people that you can contact you. 5,900, as you understand, is not your friends, no family members, no way that you get 6,000 people like this through your family and friends. So these are people who said, I'm interested, I'm in network marketing, I need help, and here we go. Now, when you say, I don't have any, anybody to talk to, well, come online, come and join us, come and join Condace, come and join you know, all those people who want to make a change by using online marketing, and now you are going to have targeted people. And the way it works is that you need to create a content, in our case, to create a video, then you are going to send traffic to your content, and I'm going to explain a bit later what it's all about. So then you get leads, which is what you see right here, and then you make money. The principle is very simple. You don't have anybody to talk to? No problem. You've got millions of people surfing the internet every day. There are millions of people who are looking into finding a way to make money from home. So now you're going to say, yay, 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 yay. It sounds all good. Yeah, really? Uh-huh. Does it work? Well, this is what happened to me. Now that I've been using online marketing, I've got this person who reached out to me. Did I know him? Not at all. Did I beg him to come and join my business? Not at all. And this is what he says. Hi, Aurora. Good to meet you. Just been watching your video, your blog, so on and so forth. I'm really interested. Can I ask if you are promoting just MLSP or do you have an MLM business as well? I really want to get into this, but I'm totally confused. And he said that he run a successful business and basically, can you help? Can we have a chat? I really appreciate your help. So this is somebody 
who was attracted by my video and by my blog and who came to me. So does attraction marketing really work? You bet it does. Then somebody else was saying, and that somebody, you know, after building my list, even after a year, a year and a half, telling me, hey, by the way, so what are you, uh, what are you doing online now to make money? Are you still doing blah, blah, blah? Oh, and then he was asking something else I can't remember. But this person is asking me for business advice and how I can help him in a new income opportunity. This other lady says, my name is blah, blah, blah. I see you are in network marketing and wanted to know if you have any tips for prospecting on Facebook. I'm new to this and I really don't have a warm market and call Colleen Sucks help. <laughs> This is somebody that I didn't know. I live in the UK. She lives in the US, and she contacted me. Does attraction marketing works? Was Magdalene mad? No, he was a si simply a genius. Another one who found me on Facebook who says, "Well, I would like to attract more leaders. I would love for you to be my mentor. You seem to know what you're doing." And finally, thank you so much. Um, maybe I should tell you a little bit about why I need help. I was introduced to a company called blah, blah, blah. I really want to market the product, but really, the Ask Family and Friends thing isn't working. Please help me. If you're providing me a website, check it out and let me know what you think. And thanks again for taking out time for me. I really appreciate. Awesome. So this is what you can do by um, starting working online and by using, you know, um, you know, an online marketing strategy. And what happens as well is that she says she wants to to, um, to attract leaders. Well, when you use the right marketing strategy, and I'm going to show you how to use um, YouTube, leaders start contacting you. Like for instance, on this picture, you've got Candace, and she said. Hi, Aurora. I wanted to let you know that I'm doing a 12-day training event and was wondering if you would like to be a speaker. So she invited me to become a, spe a speaker. So obviously, if I wasn't doing anything, having any results, I don't think she would have thought about me. And um, so, yeah, so she's talking about um, the training that she's doing and Lydia, my mastermind partner, who uh, is also having some great results online. So she invited her. I had somebody from the Philippines doing an interview with me about marketing strategies. And then I got invited by Jessica Hickton, who um, just launched a new course, which is now not available anymore, um, about Facebook. And um, I was one of the people, you know, giving my testimony on a, on a, web, on a hangout. Oh, was it a webinar? Yes, webinar. So it has nothing to do with chasing friends and family members absolutely nothing to do so now you can see that there is another way to have success online and it is called attraction marketing and you need again to read that book magnetic sponsoring because you get the ebook then then you've got some interviews and you've got even scripts available for you it is a lot of resources available for, I think it's $29, which is like very cheap for the information provided. So this is where the meat is. So how do you attract highly targeted leads with YouTube marketing? And now you may wonder, well, why, why YouTube? Well, I find it quite simple, why YouTube? Well, first of all, YouTube is owned by Google. So it is actually ranking much better than having a simple website, for instance. And people like watching videos more than reading text, long blog posts and long articles. They want something quick and snappy, something they can see, something to entertain them. As you know, we are in this era of entertainment, you know. So, hey, let's entertain on YouTube because your target market will also find it there on YouTube. Now, I'm not going into like all the details of the numbers and the millions of people who are watching videos every day on YouTube or downloading videos on YouTube. You simply need to know that it is the third search 
engine on the planet and you've got millions of people every day going on YouTube. So do you need to be there as a network marketer? Definitely you should because many people will get in contact with you because of your videos. So how does it work? First of all, you need to find who your target audience is. And as we mentioned before, your target audience is definitely not your friends or family members, or should I say your broke friends or family members who haven't been educated about the power of network marketing and working from home. So who is your target market then? Well, your target market would be other people in network marketing because you don't have to convince them about you know the um, the profession you know being a network marketer and they are already sold by the concept that yes you can make money from home from home but now you may wonder why would i need to contact somebody who is already in network marketing he has a business so why would he join me well this is the reality the reality is that when people join a company, as I like to say, they're pretty joined by accident. I remember when I first joined, I mean, uh, a friend of mine gave me a card, you know, she gave, um, we were at a church event and she gave me, gave me a card, you know, selling makeup and all of that. And I thought, oh, what is it? And I didn't know about network marketing. I didn't even know you could work from home like this and generate an income. So I got, um, quite interested about it, tried to find out more about it, and it's how I joined. But not necessarily because I liked the company, but because it was the only company that I knew at the time. So the people who are in network company is your best target audience, and what you need to understand as well is that they are not necessarily happy with their business, and they do not know necessarily how to generate leads. Because again, you know, you need to be seen as a leader, you need to come from a place of value where you can teach somebody else how to have success online. And even if you don't know how to do it, you know, there is this wonderful marketing platform which has changed the nature of my business called MLSP. Get in contact with Condé, she's going to tell you everything about it. It is awesome. So, those people, I mean, your target audience, you know, these are the best people for you to be in contact with other network marketers. Second point, you need to find a marketing strategy. In that case, it could be uh, you know, using um, video marketing. And once you've de decided of the marketing you want to choose, because yes, you know, you've got video marketing, you've got blogging, article marketing, you've got solo ads, you've got Facebook, like free Facebook marketing strategies, you got Facebook pay per click, and the list goes on and on and on. So many ways for you to market. You don't have to do all of them, but choose one that you like the most. Choose the path of least resistance. So then you know you will start being productive. So when you create your content, you create a video, then you send traffic to your video you start gener generating leads, you are building your list, so people that you can contact again and again and again, and something else that you need to do is to follow up with your leads. Now that you've contacted them and you've got their emails, you will be using an autoresponder. These autoresponder are like automated messages that your leads are going to receive so that you can start building a relationship with them. You know, you will increase, it will increase, I mean, they will get to know more about you and it's how the process of liking you, knowing you, trusting you to ultimately joining you is going to happen. You need to follow up and you need to build relationship with your list. And this is how you make sales. So you don't come from a place where you are pitching and saying, Johnny, 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 but from a place where there is a whole process to follow in order to make sales. So for instance, on YouTube, this is what it would look like. And if you remember, I said that uh, your best target audience would be people in network marketing. So the first thing I did was to find an MLM company. 
if you go to npros.com, you are going to find hundreds of companies there. So find a company, do some what we call keyword research to see how many people per month are looking into this keyword. Then you start creating a video. And then there is all kind of things that you need to do in order to rank your video on the first page of Google or of YouTube. So this is this video, for instance. This is um, this, um, a video that I've made targeting people in Organa Gold. So uh, my keyword was Organa Gold Review. I'm going to show you in a second, you know, what it looks like to use the keyword research tool, planner. Yeah, it's called a keyword research planner. So my keyword is Organa Gold Review because I know what I'm going to uh, attract X amount of people per day to this video which are potentially going to become leads. So you've got my video. At the end of the video there is what we call a call to action which is mentioned just right here. A call to action where I say now for more information about helping you generate leads with your Organa Gold business please click the link below this video right now. So People are going to go to this link where it says mlmprovenformula.com slash organogold and what is going to happen is that they will find a form and on that form they will enter their name, their email, their phone number and this is how I'm going to get a lead. So it's what we call a lead capture page and this is again to build your list and generate leads. So, um, optimizing your video online and offline. This complicated word really means how to make sure that you follow all the criteria set by YouTube to be able to rank on, um, on YouTube and Google. So, for instance, here I've got a keyword. Then inside my description, just below, they are, they, this keyword is going to appear several times. So I've got Organa Gold Review, Organa Gold Review, and several times like this. And then I would be using like specific keywords. So then uh, I will be able to um, to target of a keyword related to Organa Gold. So it could be Organa Gold Reviews, Organa Gold Scam. Organogold distributors, Organogold products, Organogold, and the list goes on and on. Uh, so then, so this is what we call the online optimization. Offline optimization means anything which is not on the video itself, where basically you would need to use some tools to bring backlinks to your content and backlinks which is huge are like social votes, social media votes which means that people are referring back to your content saying watch this, this is interesting, watch this, this is interesting and the more people are referring back to your content the more likely your content will, uh, will rank on the first page of Google. So. Um, so once you've done your video and you've got, you know, you have uploaded your video, you need to do what we call to ping your video. Pinging means that you are telling to the search engine, hello, hello, I've created some content, please find me, find me. Okay? So you really need to make sure that the search engine knows that you're here. You need to announce yourself by saying, Dang, I'm here. So you use pingler.com which is one of the services I use and um, then you can start sending traffic you know sending backlinks to your, to your YouTube URL. Here we go, drop down. So you need to have a call to action, you need a lead capture page which is just right here and I will be showing you what it looks like and you need to have an autoresponder. So um, <clears throat> Probably at the end, you know, if we've got enough time, 
I would be able to show people about um, the keyword planner. Actually, it's going to take two seconds. So, if we move over to to to, to the keyword planner, you would simply need to go on Google and type in keyword planner. Can you see my screen, Candace? Yes, I should can. Okay. So it says keyword planner, then you click on Google AdWords keyword planner. The best thing is to have a Gmail account, you know, Gmail likes to own everything, Google likes to own everything. So you've got yes. YouTube, you've got Gmail, you've got Google Hangout, uh, <laughs> you know, you've got uh, all kind of things linked to, uh, to Gmail, to Google. So I'm going to enter my uh, password, which is... And the reason why I'm saying you need to create an account, uh, a Gmail account, is because you are going to have more relevant searches being given to you. You know, you're going to have more uh, more results being given to you. So it is very simple. I won't be explaining the whole thing, but in a nutshell, using this keyword planner is going to tell you, and I love that. I mean. I think I'm a kind of a geek sometimes, and I love spending time on um, <laughs> on the, uh, the Google Keyword Planner because this tool is going to show you how many people are looking for some specific words in your niche. So, you know, let's say I went to npros.com to find the name of different companies available, different MLM companies then I will simply need to click on search for new keyword and add group ideas. So I go right there and I'm going to type in Organo Gold. Right now I have no idea what I'm going to find so I'm going to type in Organo Gold. And what I want to do as well at the bottom where it says customize your search, you want to only include keywords containing the following terms organize go, goal because otherwise you're going to find so many other things which are not related to it and uh, it looks just terrible. So enter it here and then right here, you know, exclude keywords, just forget about it, just enter organo gold and then click on get ideas. Now, when you get on get ideas, uh, you've got the add group ideas. The one you want is the keyword ideas. Bang! Here we go. So these are exact searches for this keyword Organa Gold. And it is the exact search. It's not global, it's exact. So you've got 301,000 people on average per month looking for this term. So I won't be going for that term because it's like very competitive. I will look more into something like in the region of a thousand to maybe five, five thousand. And you know, sometimes you can take some keywords which are not that uh, really searched online, but are still going to bring you a good amount of leads. So right here, I will click on average monthly searches, and it's going to sort the numbers from uh, the highest number of searches to the lowest number of searches. So for instance, I could have made a video called Organa Gold Scam because you've got 12,100 people looking to this term every month and uh, it's just like the word scam, I don't really feel comfortable with that so I'd rather not use it. So you've got um, but it means that it's somebody who is looking into it and want to know, uh, for instance, if Organo Gold is a scam, so basically they want to join, but they want to make an informed decision. Or it's somebody who is already in Organo Gold and they are just looking for more information and they're like, well, is it a scam, really? So they start looking into it. If you were to make a video on Organo Gold Coffee, then that could be, yes, potentially for like distributors who want to join the company and is how they would call it, Organo Gold Coffee, with 8,100 searches per month. Now, the keyword I've looked into was Organo Gold Review. 
So a review of Argana Gold, which is 3,000 and 600 uh, monthly searches, and the list goes on and on. You know, you can just carry on. You've got 49 keywords, so I believe it's another page left. The lowest one is Argana Gold Gourmet Mocha. Only 30 people per month are looking for this keyword. Anyway. So mine is 3,600 and is Organa Gold Review. So this is how I decide, okay, there is quite a good amount of people looking for this keyword, so I am going to make a video around that term. So now, this is what is going to happen. So I've made my video. At the end of the video, there is a call to action. They click on the link below this video which is mlmprovenformula.com and what is actually interesting when you uh, use a tracking system such as MLSP is going to turn into something like this um, where what I can do is for them to understand that I'm really I mean this capture page is really for them it says right here stop struggling in organo gold and it is because I've used uh, a specific tracking code which is helping me to um, which is helping me to customize my cash capture page. So organo gold review, there is a short video and throughout the page it says organo gold so people know that I'm talking about them. There we go. Right, and then you know, they enter their name and email and phone number. I've got a lead. So the video is going to start, so I'm going to stop it. So we've spoke about the keyword research, now it's done. We spoke about the online and offline optimization, so making sure that you follow all the criteria so then you can rank on the first page of Google. And then we spoke about uh, offline optimization, which means like using tools such as Social Monkey, for instance, or uh, Magic Submitter to bring backlinks to your content. So the more backlinks, I mean, the one with more backlinks is going to win, basically. And this is what is going to happen. Then I check my emails, you know, a few days later, or maybe on the day itself, and I've got some leads. I mean, I couldn't get the one which was saying leads, but they're actually a mix, a mix of sign-ups uh, into MLSB and leads as well. So now you will say, okay, but I want people to join my business right now. Why do they need to sign up into MLSB? Well, this is how it works, my friends, because if you start pitching people by saying that your coffee is the best coffee in the world, it is not going to cut it. It's not going to work. But if you come from a place where you are advising them on marketing strategies and how they can have success with their own business, now, you know, they put their guards down and they are ready to listen to you because they see you <laughs> as as an authority, as somebody who can help them grow their business. And guess what? Now that you are talking to them, they are going to say to you, hey, by the way, what do you do? Right. Did and this is the best time to say, oh, you know, I, I sell coffee. Yeah? And then they will want to know a bit more about what you're doing. And now is the time to share. So don't start just like sharing everything like in one go and my business is wonderful because blah 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 but you know let them ask some questions and then you can say would it be okay to send you some information to review yes yeah, so find the angle to talk about your business because yes you know you can say that the coffee is great and everybody is drinking coffee but there might be an angle that you can find to talk to people about your business something which is going to excite them and you are going to find the information that you need by asking the right questions so this is in my <coughs> sorry Gmail account and this is what is in my uh, back office of MLSP where you know, the way I've created my videos, I've got like a tracking saying, you know, this one watched the 
explosion video, this one looked into world ventures, uh, this one looked into Wake Up Now, Viridian, Usana, Univera. So, <clears throat> sorry, all of that was possible by simply targeting people in network marketing, by helping them generating leads for their own business, and many people, well, a few, a few, a few amount of people will be joining you in your business, and a few as well will be joining you in MLSP. And I think that this is where the beauty lies, because if you know you were doing it offline and somebody says no to you, well, no is no. Whereas with those people that you um, came across online, what is going to happen is that the people who are saying no to join your business, because 90% of the people will say no to join your business, even if it is the best business in the world, but you know, people are not interested. So, uh, these people will be joining you in MLSP, but now, because you are nurturing them through emails, you are sending them, bringing value, teaching them how they can brand themselves and build their business online, those people who said no, well, if you check with them three to six months later, this no can turn into, please, I'm begging you, send me some information. So no doesn't mean never, it simply means not right now. And this is the power because now your lead, all your leads are with you. You've got those who said no and are going to join, potentially, and those who have said yes, who are in MLSP and on top of that, in your business. And because it is an uh, affiliate program, you will also make a commission from it. So this is the whole process to summarize. This is the video that I've created. So the content creation, and backlinks and everything. The call to action, enter here your information to get access to the presentation about generating leads online. So this is the capture page, it's right here. They enter their details and bang, it will end up in your email box and in your uh, lead generation system. Then what do you do with that? I mean, it's all well and good, you've got all these leads and believe me, my friend, Doing online marketing is great, but you don't want to just stay there. And I think the beauty is to mix online and offline marketing. So now that people have seen my face, they heard my voice, and I've sent them some information, guess what? I can follow up with them. And when I follow up with them, most of the time, this is the reaction that I had. Oh, wow! It's you, Aurora? Oh, wow, thank you very much for calling me. I watched your videos and I read your blog post and I would like to find out more about how to get leads for my business. Can you help me? And I would say, yes, I can. And I would show them how they can generate leads for their own business. And, you know, as we are chatting now like friends, they're going to ask me, hey, so what do you do? Or if they don't ask me, what do I do? Because of the way I've setting up my I've set up my autoresponder, they will be receiving messages daily from me, and there will be a picture of me on how to contact me and a PS, you know, PS just at the end, saying, you know, oh wow, and I made another thousand dollars this week. Guess what people are going to do? They want to check out your information. And this is where you would have another sales funnel, a bit like this one, but created now for your own business. So by doing that, instead of sending people to your duplicated website, you know, from your company, you know, it could be Ardis, it could be Forever Living, it could be Amway, it could be anything, you need to create a system where you can attract leads to your business. So you want to capture the name of the people who are looking into your information. It is crucial. Do not send people to your uh, replicated website. You need to create a system and Condes can definitely show you how to make this happen. So to follow up, you know, because some of them gave me their phone numbers or uh, they gave me their, their email address and I would give them a call. You know, I would call them on Skype. Uh, if they gave me their Skype details, I would give them a phone call 
or if I don't have a phone number, I would be using the search bar in Facebook and finding them on Facebook. And uh, then if I don't find them on Facebook, well, I will simply send them an email just to say that this is not an autoresponder message, this is me, and I want to get hold of you. And I got so many leads by simply doing that, because some people might not necessarily like autoresponder messages, but if you contact with them on a one-to-one -one basis, you know, on being real, you know, they are going to feel it, and they will want to connect with you. But one of my amazing strategies is definitely to use Skype or to use the phone. My friends, when you pick up the phone, these people that you spoke to, even after three, six, nine, twelve months, will come back to you and will still want to do business with you because they've heard your voice, they've got a contact now, and so many people are shy and don't want to pick up the phone, so that gives you plenty of scope to stand out from the crowd once more, get hold of your leads, and you know, start building connection, start making friends. So now, you know, I've got people I say to them, hey, you know what, I'll just drop that these days, you know, uh, can I send you some information? Yeah, sure, please, send me your link. And then I would follow up with them. And uh, that is why calling your leads if you are scared, you need to train yourself. I was very scared myself until one of the leaders, one of my mentors said, if you are not calling your leads, I will be calling them for you. In other words, he was going to close them in his business. And I said, no way, I'm not working that hard that you come and steal from me. So that gave me a boost and I said, okay, call them, call them now. If I know that I need to make like a, a description of more than 10 lines, I'm saying, can I call you just right now? Or can I Skype you? Because this is the best thing. People hear your voice and you can crack jokes. It's awesome. And because of the principles of attraction marketing, they will no longer see you as a stranger, but more like a friend, somebody who can help them, and their guards will be down, and you will be able now to talk to them on a one-to-one -one basis and help them build their business. And by doing that, you know, doing all of this that I said to you, this goes back to the slide I shared with you earlier on, where you say, so, what you're doing online now to make money, uh, then I see you are network marketing and wanted to know if you have any tips. I'm new and cold calling sucks. Please help. So one thing, uh, you know, I said to you that you need to follow up, and follow up is not only like a one-time activity. It has to be repeated at least seven times. I don't know if you read this book. Um, Go Pro by Eric Worre, which is a fantastic book that I would recommend anyone to read because it is going to show you the number um, how important it is to follow up with your leads and to 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 well yeah to follow up with them. And there is another book you know that I'm trying to find, which is called Go for No. Uh, and Go For No is a powerful book where they were showing in a, in, a, in a study that people, after you've contacted them about five to six times, will now start listening to what you have to say. But what do people do? On the first call, they say, oh, you know, that person said, no, I'm going to leave it. And they leave it. They leave money on the table. And then, instead of calling them a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time, obviously not in a matter of just one week, but you know, just working with that person, well, because they would have had some exposure to what you are doing, but by other people, probably at the seventh, eighth time, guess who they are going to join? Not you, because you didn't follow up. They're going to join a person who, um, who was there, you know, the person that they remembered. So that is the reason why you really need to keep a good relationship uh, with, with your lead. It's very, very important. 
So what I do to keep track of all these leads, I use, again, Google, Google Calendar. And Google Calendar has been so good because I used to use my, my diary. I bought a red diary thinking, yes, I'm not going to miss it. It's A4 size. It is great. I can write a lot of things there. And after a while, I had so many leads, but I just didn't know how to follow up with people. And my, my handwriting, oh, you should see my handwriting, so terrible. But uh, eventually, I came back to Google Calendar, and I simply love it because I set some family time, during the day from 10 to 2 o'clock, this is where I do all my content creation. You need to do some money-making activities, which is like creating content, and then you can do anything, everything that you want. So from 10 to 2, then I'm going to pick up my baby, and then, you know, we'll be doing some follow-up calls, organizing, organizing hangouts, or whatever is necessary. But I will use a tracking system where somebody that I put in 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 the in the uh, I think it was blue is to call somebody on Skype. You know, after we spoke on the phone, I would say, okay, well, so can I call you back? You know, on you know, if I spoke to the person on Friday, I would say, can I call you back on uh, Tuesday? Because Monday is a busy day for me. I try not to do too much work, and I will connect with that person on Tuesday. And the way it works is fantastic is because you can set up a oopla, oops, you can repeat the event. So let me show you. Let's say for instance I go to next week, this is next week Tuesday, and uh, I want to call this lady right here. So I click on it, it says edit event. Hopefully my computer is not going to freeze. Here we go. And just right here, repeat event. I'm able to repeat an event. Actually, let me show you like a fresh one. Let's say I want to connect with somebody here on Tuesday at 5 p.m. I click on edit uh, the event, and I'm going to say Skype call with so-and-so. I'm going to set the date. I can add a quick description here. If I want to, um, to have an event you know, with a specific color, I can use all this one so I know that everybody that I call on Skype is blue, everybody I follow up with is red, or whatever. And when you click on repeat, it's going to ask you if you want to repeat weekly, monthly, and how long for. So usually I do, let's say, twice a week, so Tuesdays, and Thursdays, uh, yes, I need to stop at some point of follow-up. So when it says never, this is a bit too much. So I go to on, and then I would probably set it up for four weeks. Okay, so I will set up a date and say, okay, I'm going to stop following up on the 12th of December, for instance. So this is how it works. So that is pretty powerful, and you need that because when you start getting leads, you don't want to be like um, struggling and found out who called you and where they were from or whatever. You really need to run it as a business, not as a hobby. I know that many people use Google Calendar for their workplace where you need to have the same structure. And even if you are working a full-time job, set yourself some time. So if it is listening to some uh, self-development resources, you know, and you are in your car, do that in your car. If you know that when you come back, you know, you spend some time with your spouse, with your kids, find a time when you are going to create your content. Find a time where you are going to become productive to move your business forward. And as much as you can, try to stick to it. Because by sticking to it, you will be able to see momentum, you will be able to see results, and whenever you are struggling, you need to reach out, you need to ask for help. That's why I recommend MNSP because you've got a strong community there. It's not only about generating leads. You've got a whole community able to reach out what you can reach out to, we can help you out with any questions you may have, which is huge, you know, instead of being by yourself, struggling, now you've got other marketers, 
either beginners or even six to seven figure earners jumping in and helping you. And again, it's another way to find some highly targeted leads and connect with those bright people and start building trust and relationships. And who knows, one of them could become your business partner. Right. So that was it then for this presentation about how to attract highly targeted leads with YouTube marketing. So if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer. Otherwise, Condace, the floor is yours. Well, Aurora, that was a great presentation. I mean, you really covered everything in that. And I would highly recommend uh, for people that are watching, you definitely want to watch this more than once because you just, yeah. there's just, it's just was so packed with information. Yeah. And um, I know I've come across you a lot of times, Aurora, in the search engines with videos oh, yeah. and whatnot. And, you know, you really do know how to rock it on YouTube, that's for sure. And mm -hmm. um, now I do have, have a question. It's not so much for me because now I've broken through this fear. But would yeah. you have any um, tips, like, for people who might want to use YouTube, but maybe they're a little nervous about getting behind the camera, or in front of the camera, rather? Sure. Um, what I would say, it could seem a bit silly, but I was practicing a lot everywhere. You know, I would practice in my bathroom, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, just to even be used to the sound of my voice because it was such a weird thing and I didn't like seeing myself on the camera I didn't, I thought, you know, I really had to look perfect etc. Mm. but what I've realized is between the people who are procrastinating because of fears and because of anxiety and all of that they are losing time because those, I mean I've seen some videos from people who were, sorry to say that, ugly <laughs> mm. <laughs> probably ugly and I thought, you know what, I love that person and I respect that person a lot because they took action. Right. It's not right. so much about what you look like. To be honest, nobody cares about what you look like. And they would have actually respect for you if you look all messy, but you do it because now they can feel that they have a chance to be able to do it as well. You don't need any special equipment, you don't need to be eloquent, you don't need any special skills, you just need to have a message and you need to share it with people. And then it's only practice, practice made perfect. And finally I would say it is very important that you work on your mindset because if you don't work on your mindset you will not make it whatsoever you could use whichever marketing strategy you d you want to choose but you will not have success because your mind will not be set and wired properly all the time you will have some doubts creeping up and you're going to um, just to, to, to leave it completely for somebody else to have success when you could have made it as well. So instead of giving up and thinking that you are not good enough, yes you are good enough and yes you can have success with it. And to me it was like, you know what, I'm a child of God and I'm going to make it happen, please God help, <laughs> pretty much. And um, you need to have faith and you need to make up your mind on what you want to achieve in life. Are you going to let your fears stop you from living the life of your dreams and being able to be a blessing to your friends and family members. So are you going to leave fear just like stopping you from reaching your destiny or are you going to say, you know what, let's do it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Excellent. Me, I really had so many reasons not to be online, not to be even making me video videos. Oh, but you know, any kind of thing, you know. But I said, oh, but my hair is not done properly and I don't have any makeup. Are they going to like me? I'm black. Are they going to like me? I'm a woman and I'm French. What about my accent? Are they going to understand what I'm saying? Guess what? When I started, you know, um, listening to self-development resources, 
that just changed my mind. And when I listened to the wake-up calls from MLSP, the only thing that I understood is that action takers are winners. Action takers are leaders. You are a leader because you are doing what other people will not do. And I said, if it is the price for me to have success and live the life of my dreams and inspire other people and help people around me, so be it. And even if I look ugly, I mean, I've got some videos where I look terrible, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to upload it and send. Am I going to look back? No. <laughs> right. Would somebody tell me I bought, you know, uh, I didn't put any makeup on or I didn't have my earrings? Nobody would. Nobody right. would. Nobody, nobody cares. Everybody wants to hear your message. People are struggling. People are suffering outside. People need help. When you see these messages, these are messages of people who need help. People right. who are desperate, want to make it happen, want to see a change in their lives. They know that network marketing is the vehicle, but they have no idea how to make it happen. So well, you will be robbing yourself from your destiny, and you will be selfish not to help them because you're scared. It's only in your mind. And since I've decided that I am a leader, because it has to come from you, nobody is going to say, Da -da -da. Right. You are a leader. You have to decide for yourself. And this is what this book, Magnetic Sponsoring, is going to teach you. Get it today. Um, it is going to change your outlook on things. And you will know now that now you've got value. Now you can help those people. And success didn't come overnight. I had to uh, learn the skills and be more confident with myself and practice and tweak and not seeing any results and then now every day I've got leads coming in and I'm like oh, how am I going to keep up? <laughs> so it is about you getting started. If you don't, I mean you don't have to be great to um, to get started but in order, no, what was the saying again? You don't have to be great to be start, to get started but you have to get started to be great. And right. I believe that everybody who's listening to this hangout has the potential, the ability to do it. If I can do it, you know, coming from Paris with my funny accent and with my baby who's right now sitting on my lap and, you know, working like kind of dodgy hours of the night uh, because, you know, I can, it's, um, it's just a question of choice. And if you've got a spouse who is not very accommodating, who think that it's a waste of time, work with them, work with them. And it took me some time to work with my husband and to say, you know what, it is going to work and I believe in it. So it's a question of time, we are all different, don't be scared because you see people having massive success, you know, they've got great success and now you're, you're thinking, well, but what about me? What about you? Take action, choose right. a marketing strategy, go for it, don't be shy. There is no time to be shy right now. People need you. People need to hear your message. There is no time to be shy. And um, just push forward. Listen to Zig Ziglar, this man. Oh, it was absolutely phenomenal. He left, he left us a, an amazing legacy. Very inspiring. So renew your mind. You know, have this self-development resources around your house. Let your spouse listen to it, you know, discreetly, you know, and uh, and yes, this is what I can say. If you are scared to be making videos, just do it. And if initially you need some help, you can do a PowerPoint presentation instead. Like right here, you can't see me, but I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And uh, people can see your picture. I look fresh and radiant. Well, this is what they've got, you know. But if you see me right now, well, my baby is sleeping on my lap. And um, I look a bit tired. It's 3 o'clock in the morning over here. Right, but right. you can do a PowerPoint presentation and put a voice over the PowerPoint presentation and jump down. You're yeah. set to go. Absolutely. And showing up is half the battle. It really is. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Showing I've, up, yeah. I've seen people 
you know, in different uh, in different things, and I can't I can't think of a good example now. But I've seen people, and it's like, what? That person's doing what? And it's like they're not, you know, that special. But you know what? They went and showed up. They tried it, and yeah. and they, that's why they're there. Maybe yeah. there is somebody who can do whatever it is that they're doing better. But you know what? That person didn't show up. This one did. And since no one else showed up, they've got their position. Yeah, I absolutely agree. That's why mindset is so important. What do you think? But who is going to look at me? But what if it doesn't work? And what if, what if, what if, what if it is a success? And you will never know unless you try. So don't rub yourself because you are going to be sleeping badly at night. Mm -hmm. You really need, I mean, if it is something that you really want to do, I know that your conscience is not going to leave you stay there quiet and be happy. If you got this fire in your belly, whenever you want to stop completely, it is going to come back to you and say, hello, you right. have fulfilled what you were meant to fulfill, do it now or I'm going to bother you day in, day out. So I would rather give in and say, okay, let's do it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I make this thought constantly coming to my mind and friends saying, so, are you making any money yet? Mm -hmm. ah! But now I can say, yes, I'm making money. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, all right, all right. Now you want to know about my business? Brilliant. Here is some information. Right, right. And I know, you know what, I can think of this one video in particular that I made that, in my opinion, what I thought it was so not professional at all. I yeah. thought it was just the dumbest video ever. But you know what, that was one of the videos. I got so many compliments on it. Yeah. I think it was because, you know what, I was tired. I didn't care how I sounded. And I was as natural as could be. And it was like, hey, thumbs up, good video. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. I mean, th this is showing signs of leadership. You know, you make a video, you don't want to do it, you, you don't look your best, but because you've mm -hmm. got something to say, you simply do it. And it's only later on, you know, when you start doing very well, but if you want to start looking all nice and proper and polished, and you've got this nice background and nice special effects, but you can do it, but initially it doesn't matter at all. I make videos from my iPhone. Right. I make videos from my computer. And I didn't have even an iPhone. Um, I mean, I just had my iPhone for the past three months. Oh, okay, okay. So before that, I was using like a rubbish phone, so I was making all my videos from my computer. And the, the camera that I had was probably something like $60 or something like that. Mm. So nothing amazing, you know, God has created this beautiful lighting, you know, the sun, well, mm -hmm. when it's sunny in the UK, find a nice place, if you can, and get some good lighting, you know, from outside, it looks great, and make a video. I mm -hmm. did some shopping the other day with my son, and I thought, you know what, I feel like making a video right now. So I said to my baby, Jessie, okay, mommy's going to make a video, just, just wait, okay? And he said, Okay, mommy. And yes. uh, I made a video. It took about three to five minutes. And uh, job done. And yes. you carry on with your day. But now, this video, which took you five minutes to create, is content for you to place on YouTube, for you to start having views um, on YouTube, for you to, to start attracting people to you. So was that worthwhile? Yes, it was. Should you do it? any time and mm. it can even be like one or two minutes like you know oh. a minute with Candace and mm. you've got wisdom of Candace for one or two minutes great yep so write down on paper everything you want to talk about would it be even fears you know like fear of doing videos you make a video about it guess how many people will be attracted by that knowing what you talk about Making, uh, doing, uh, making videos and having this fear creeping you up, but you are still doing it. Right. You can be an inspiration to so many people. Very true. And you know what, Candace, what I've seen is people who are, 
who show that they are vulnerable, who are weak, you know, they've got so much success because yeah. they are being real like anybody else. You right. know, you, you feel that you can reach them, you can connect with them instead of having this, uh, you know, Hollywood production where everything is nice and lovely. It doesn't work like this. So, you know, if you, if you are a single mother, the world wants to hear from you. If you are a single dad, the world wants to hear from you. If you had any difficulties, if you are uh, skinny or obese or black or white or woman or man or whatever, people want to hear from you because your story is unique and what you're doing by connecting with the world around you is something that they would not dare doing. But because now they see you doing it, they've got this fire in them to say, you know what, I can make it another day and I can make it happen for me as well. It's powerful. I love it. Love it. Absolutely. All right, well, Aurora, um, it's a little after 9 here in okay. the U.S. And I know it's, a, it's very late by you. So I want to thank you again for coming on and being part of the event. Um, one thing, Aurora, could you just share with everyone, uh, the, just tell them, unless you have it on the slides, uh, what the URL is for your blog in case uh, they'd like to check it out? Yeah, sure. Oops. So my blog is... AuroraJones.com. So that's very simple. It's okay. It can be a uh, bit <laughs> of a perfectionist sometimes. <laughs> I wanted to add some color and bold. And <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it. This is AuroraJones.com. If you go there, you will find my blog. Uh, if you've got any questions, I would be very happy to, to help you out. You can find me on Facebook as well under Aurora Jones. My fan page is Aurora Jones fan page. And, um, and yes, yeah, so any question you may have regarding YouTube marketing or Facebook marketing, I would be very happy to help you, to coach you, to talk with you on Skype or during a Google Hangout, anything. And uh, I really want to thank you again once more, Candace, for this uh, fantastic idea that you had to put this 12 week together. You've got a lot of creativity, so well done. Well, thank you so much, and again, thank you for coming on. And guys and gals, if you did come on late, um, if you're on, on my list, I will definitely be sending out a replay to you so you can watch this, and it will, of course, be on YouTube as well. And I definitely, you know, suggest check out Aurora's blog. It's really a good blog. And, um, you know, like I said, I thank you, Aurora. And with that, I will, I will see you later. And um, you have a good night. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.